What I'd like to show you today are uh, a few of the skulls that I've cleaned using dermestid beetles. And these are just a few examples of the skulls that I have on display um, that I keep around here. All we have is a beaver, a badger, a bobcat, a coyote, a second and a third coyote, and another bobcat. And then in the center here, this is actually a pheasant skull. I also have a pronghorn antelope, an eastern mule deer, a black bear skull, This is a cow elk skull and a mule deer doe skull. The advantage of using dermestead beetles is that they're able to consume all the meat, flesh, um, fat, and even some of the cartilage off these skulls without damaging the bone or the fine nasal membrane in the skulls. You'll see here this real fine bone in a bear skull that remains intact. Um, we have no bone loss, no bone separation, and no bone damage using dermistead beetles. They'll do an excellent job of getting all of the meat, dry flesh, fat, and greasy cartilage off these skulls. And then you can degrease, whiten, and uh, display or mount these skulls. What I'll do here is uh, take you over to my one of the uh, tanks I have set up with uh, thermostat beetles. And this is just an aquarium tank, uh, fair size uh, aquarium. It's about a 30 gallon uh, glass aquarium. Take the lid off here. And right now we have uh, a few beetles. You can see them out here. I've got some light on the on this uh, aquarium. And the substrate I use with the beetles is uh, cotton batting, um, some uh, fine pine wood chips, and then uh, just shredded paper. And then I'll put uh, paper towels on top of the substrate so that I can mist and uh, water the beetles um, probably uh, every second to third day I'll just spray a little mist of water in here so the beetles can uh, get a drink. You want to keep the tank at a low humidity setting. I try to keep mine around 30 percent humidity and the temperature right around 70 degrees. What I'm going to do is uh, show you a little example here. I've got a jawbone off of a pronghorn antelope. And I'm going to set this jawbone in here. And I've removed most of the, the meat and fat off of it. Uh, you don't have to do a perfect job. The, the beetles will come in and they'll consume all the meat and fat off this jawbone. What I like to do is take a little water, I've got a water bottle here with a, and just lightly mist the tank. And the meat. 
and you'll notice that the beetles will begin to come up out of the substrate here. The beetles range in size uh, from a larvae size to uh, just barely visible, maybe an eighth, a sixteenth of an inch to uh, almost half an inch long. You can see some of the adults and the, the pupa and the larvae. Now this tank started with about 300 beetles and now I have about 1500 beetles. in the tank. You'll notice them coming up out of the substrate here. 1500 beetles you can clean a deer skull or a pronghorn skull in uh, just a few days. You'll notice the uh, beetles beginning to uh, move around and then they'll locate the, the meat now begin to consume all this flesh. I'll come back and uh, upload a video here when these uh, beetles have completely covered this jawbone and are doing the work.